up next, uh, you'll, you'll hear the real comedy right now. Yeah. The team of Mad Max in California. That's right. California. <laughs> While we're setting up, let me like, eat some junk food. Anybody want a uh, Twinkie? You like Twinkies? Yeah, who likes Twinkies? Yeah. Yeah. Got a little box of Twinkies uh, here. Go ahead and grab them for life. Twinkies, Twinkies. In honor of the Twinkie coming back to the market. Anybody else? Yes, I'll take one. Twinkies. Over here. Two of them. One for you. And I'm sure. There it is. There it goes. This one in the tip box. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Okay. This will go right here. Okay. Just please don't stand out. No standing ovation is necessary. All right. Well, good evening and welcome to the uh, Pipe Bomb of Comedy. I'm uh, Mad Max, and this is, uh, and this is my uh, buddy California Mitch. Uh, before we get started, before we get started, one, two, one, two. Before we get started, I'll count one, two. One. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Before we get started, a special hello to our friends from across the pond. You guys got the, you guys got the best evening news. By the time the broadcast ends, the anchor woman is in her birthday suit. The ones we got here are pretty well stuck up. And tonight's uh, program is being sponsored by the Bok Choy Institute for Martial Art Inflicted Injuries. I like that. You know, the funny thing about the pond is I heard about this one guy standing on one side of the pond. I think it was a Newfoundlander. And another guy standing on the other side of the pond. And one guy said, hey, how do I get to the other side of the pond? And the guy on the other side of the pond said, you are on the other side of the pond. Oh, evidently, uh, evidently that guy must have invested in some uh, wave boots. Why don't that cheapskate get, uh, get himself an outboard motor? Hey, that's a good idea. Remember the, uh, oh, I heard about a $5 bill. A $5 bill walked into the bar. And the bartender said, hey, you can't come in here. This is a singles bar. <laughs> and the $5 bill said, for you, I'll change. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, how to, you know how to drive this guy nuts? Tell me, tell me. Put him in the wrong room and tell him there's a dollar bill in the corner. Oh, no, oh, no. Some of my best friends are Jewish. My mom, my dad, my brothers and sisters. You know how I found out that I was Jewish? I asked my dad for $50. You know what he said? Forty dollars. I ain't got thirty bucks. Go ask your mom for ten dollars. Oh, <laughs> hey, this is what happens when you team a redneck with a Jewish boy. By the way, I'm coming to your house Sunday. Do you uh, barbecue chop liver? <laughs> we sure do. <laughs> two rabbis. No, it's just one rabbi. No, two rabbis were walking down the street. They see a sign. It says, "Convert to Catholicism. Get fifty dollars today." The first one goes in, comes out three hours later. The second one says, "Hey, did you get the fifty dollars?" And the second, first one says. <laughs> is that all you Jewish people think about is money? Hey, that was a pretty... Hey, uh, dress, yeah, Saturday night after Temple. That was a nice uh, dress your mother was wearing. Who shot the couch? Ah, that's funny speaking of your mama. Your mama is so fat. Yes, that's right. She jumps up in the air and gets stuck. Your mama is so fat. She goes to the beach, they sell her, they rent her out for shade. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, your mama's so fat, I tried to get on top of her and I got a nosebleed. Uh, uh, I had sex uh, rolled over twice and I was still on top. <laughs> yeah, well, when she stepped on a scale, it read to be continued. To uh, continue. Yeah, the only time your mom has been to a C2, 90210 is when she looked down at the scale. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know what you mean. But, but your mom is so cheap, she was at the dollar store putting some on layaway. <laughs> okay, no, I'm not gay. My boyfriend is. That's so, so, uh, Let's you talk about somebody else. <laughs> Now, where was I? Hmm. Yeah, I yeah I was, where were you? Yeah. Oh, I remember. I, I went to Vegas and I bet all my money, so I thought I'd play with my mind, and then of course I lost my mind. Yeah, I know what you mean. I hey, I took my hey, I took my ex to the racetrack, and nine people placed bets on her. <laughs> a bear goes into the bar and orders a beer. The bartender says, "Hey, no beer for bear in the bar." The, bar, the bear says, "I got a headache, and I don't have a beer right now. I'm gonna eat that lady over there." So the bartender said, "Sorry, no beer for bear." The bear went over and ate the lady. Half hour. Later, Larry wakes up with a fine, no problems, and he goes, and he takes a look at the happening, and he says, hey, my headache's gone, what happened? And the bartender says, oh, must have been that barbiturate. You know something, you know something, I took my ex to the bar the other night, and, uh, you know, I go to order more beer, right? I go, yeah, I go to order more pints, and I was like, um, yeah, the bartender was like, would you like some clean glasses? And my dumb girlfriend says, no thanks, I wear contacts. Uh, <laughs> yeah, his brother was an only child. <laughs> some animals eat their young. So anyway, so the... <laughs> so, well, where are we, Africa? Eat your young. 
All right, get on with it. Ni hao, ni hao. Must be Chinese. Ni hao, ni hao, or is that anyaseo? That'd be Korean, right? Or 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 uh, soati ka, or Taiwanese. I'm teaching my wife to speak like a dolphin. I say, stay home, clean the house. She says, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh God! Uh, oh God! Oh God! God, really? Well, well, be thankful that uh, the, those guys from Star Kiss ain't uh, out there fish for tuna. You would get accidentally caught one of those nets. You know what they're saying? And you wonder why they're doing those dolphin safe uh, commercials. Yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, uh, by the way, how? Hey, how did that uh, that bar mitzvah go? I heard uh, she bought you a Big Mac, so you have something on wrap. <laughs> yeah, that happens that way, doesn't it? Yeah. Hmm. So my name is Mitchell J. Goldstein. I was born on Mitchell Base, Fort J. Island, New York. Many of you may have been there, and uh, they could have called me Base Fort, but uh, Mitchell J. worked out for me, I guess. Yeah, well, well, let me tell you something. There's nothing fancy about my name. It's just plain old Scott Gregory, but people have been calling me Mad Max because I have the Mel Gibson approach to life, you see. I mean, and besides, even our friends out, out there in the audience know everybody in this country drives on the wrong side of the road. Yeah, what's up with that? You know, I, I, this is interesting, going from California to New Jersey. Uh, I heard about a lady who went from uh, New Jersey to California, and she had to pump her own gas. So she's so nervous about the whole situation, she pumps gas and pulls the pump out so fast that she gets gasoline all the way up to her elbow. She gets so nervous, she lights up a cigarette in the car and catches her arm on fire. Well, the police officer across the street sees the whole situation go down. He goes over and he arrests her and takes her to jail. What's the charge? Possession of a firearm. Wait a second. <laughs> on, a, on a lighter note, on a lighter note, she was still on fire when she was front of, in front of the movie studio and he happened to be filming a Fantastic Four, so she got cast as the human torch. Hmm, probably, but they also took her to jail for waving a firearm in traffic, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that was one real hot date you had. Sure, you want to have sex with me? No, 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 I'm not gay, my boyfriend is. <laughs> Wait a second. Hey, you used that one all right. I did, didn't I? Still hasn't worked. I'm still looking for somebody. So yeah, nice. well. Will you, won't you, can't you, don't you? Ah, oh, come on, you said you would you. You know you would you. If it did you, what's the matter? Won't your mama let you? Mm? Hey, look what at this. Look at this. I give this guy a job and he's acting like Richard Simmons on crack. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. If, if uh, Leonard Cohen met, uh, met Dr. Seuss uh, on the street corner, that would sound a little bit like crack. You know, my mother, my wife, my girlfriend, and me. My problem is in that lineup you see. Hey, but now maybe you can answer me this. What would it be like if uh, Jackie Mason met Jeff Foxworthy? Probably like playing hopscotch on the freeway. Oh yeah, I remember that one. You know how many manhole covers I covered uh, down in Philadelphia jumping on broad markets? I can imagine. Hey, imagine if you think that's bad. <laughs> you guys can uh, back me up on this one. You know what You know what Bond Street is like, like during heavy traffic, right? Try to touch a manhole's there with a constable hanging up your ass. Hey, so I, think, I think I remember the story about the, two, the, the rabbi and the preacher getting back to the rabbis. Uh, and they had an accident. Rub a dub dub. Three men in a tub. <laughs> the rabbi and the preacher get an accident in the corner, and, and the, the cars are so demolished, the, uh, the uh, rabbi says, You know what? We're still alive. I think we should celebrate. So he opens the trunk of his car and pulls out two glasses of uh, two glasses, two goblets, and a, and a bottle of Monashevitz. And he fills them both up, and he says to the preacher, uh, here, uh, he says, uh, L'chaim. That's right, the preacher says, that's right, to life. So the preacher, he drinks, glug, 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 and he says, Rabbi, aren't you going to drink? And the rabbi says, not until after the police report. Oh, my God. Hey, wait a second. I was drinking a Monashevitz. You were drinking my Jack Daniels. Thought was uh, Monashevitz gone bad. Hey, what's up with that? No wonder, uh, no wonder smoke signals were coming out of your butt there. <laughs> So, so uh, apparently around Halloween, you get the uh, the vampire bar opens up, and the first vampire orders of blood A, and the second vampire orders of blood B, and the third vampire orders of plasma, and the yeah. order is uh, two bloods and a blood light. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember. That was at that new restaurant. All the chicken and blood you can eat, it's called Cluck and Suck. <laughs> is bartender here? Is a bartender here? Is a bartender here? You know? Hey, well, did you hear about the, the cannibal? Can the, yeah, yeah, the cannibal came in and uh, and they had one of the vampires upside down. And the vampire was saying, either either eat me or let me go. I'm sick and tired of you guys sticking me for drinks. So there you go. So a short poem. Uh, uh, the end of it went something like, uh, my mother, my wife, my girlfriend, and me. My problem is in that lineup. You see, I'm the world's greatest codependent. All, and you'll show the agreement. My, my, we modest. Yes, right. and when I die, it'll be her life that passes in front of me. You know, take care of her first, that was the thing, until it becomes my money, another man's fling. Well, you know, I lived in her storage for most of my life, but afraid to commit to some other guy's wife. <laughs> <laughs>
Boy, uh, you were living in storage. I mean, uh, now I know how to boy in a plastic bubble feels. You, you're the boy from the metal cube. That's right. Oh my God! I mean, that was so hot enough you could have big bread in it. <laughs> so I ran in fear to save myself. This game of ours—it was bad for my health. My mental health got worse. I, uh, uh, I, was, I had the lonely blues, but this felt right, so the pain I choose. Boy, oh boy, you were dumping on me all, all week. Uh, you dumped on me so much, I gotta sing in my cleaning bill. There we go. It hurts so good, at least I can feel. Tell me, is this game of validation for existence actually for real? Oh, validate my existence, I begged on her phone. She laughed at me and tossed me a bone, but I'm sure she's still, she's still out there. She's thinking of me, I'll channel her in, her love I foresee. Oh, stop dreaming. Boy, gents, lads, do not confuse him for the Bard of Avon. <laughs> <laughs> so let me out of this web, you spider thing. Keep those lyrics, those songs that you sing. They hurt us both, can't you tell? And now I'm living in her mutual hell. Whatever that's supposed to mean. <laughs> uh, living in her mutual hell? More like you signed a prenup. <laughs> Something like that. So now I'm trying to, to, uh, to uh, let's see. I don't know, maybe I'm just trying to find my own way. And, and here I sit, and now what do I say? It's up to you. What do I say? Um, I don't say nothing much. Uh, I mean, if uh, if she puts you to the ring so much time, do me a favor. Ditch the bitch. Go out, get drunk, and uh, we'll play a Donnelly CD, and I'll give you uh, Tracy Lord's phone number. And that's where we're going to end it right there. Thank you very much. And remember, uh, uh, and remember, if you love your freedom for what you do, support our men and women in Iraq and Afghanistan. Not just the U.S. Armed Forces, but our friends over there in the... Uh, in the in Her Majesty's Royal Air Corps and Her Majesty's Royal Navy, and uh, yeah, everybody, hey, support the troops all around. And boys, we're over the moon, lad. Thanks for listening. In. Even if they are where Sandman Sims when you need him. That's a joke, by the way, too. There's Mad Max and California Mitch. Okay, now it's back to the music with the incredible Glenn Hulk.